great quote. When you're the best player in your playground, it's time to find another playground. So that means that like I was the best player in Memphis or whatever they say. So I turned all that down to go play a national schedule, play against guys that's on my level. What do you expect to get out of you know playing with Coach Smith at Oak Hill? Uh, I expect NBA experience. You know, they say when you go to Oak Hill, and then go to college, you're already a sophomore. Yeah. So I mean, this is the next step to the NBA. As far as colleges, who's on your list right now, and uh, who's showing you the most love? I mean, I'm wide open, but you know, I came out with a blog. My top six: this uh, Memphis, Tennessee, Arkansas, Kentucky, UConn, and Florida. A lot of those coaches here tonight, Coach Donovan, Coach yeah. Calipari, do you notice when they're in the gym watching you? Yeah, I mean, I try not to, but I, <laughs> I see it, I see it. Turner, how hard is it going to be to leave, to leave home for a year? I mean, you've uh, been there, you know, the whole life. I mean, I'm turning down a lot of stuff. I'm turning down, you know, girls, being away from my family for the first time. I'm turning down shot attempts. I mean, I'm just turning down a lot of stuff. I know it's going to be hard, but... I mean, this is something I feel like I got to get through. Tell me, what is it about Kentucky that has earned them a spot? Well, they get guys to the NBA. You know, when Calipari was in Memphis, I was always a Tiger fan. So, you know, I always admired Calipari and uh, every team he coached. Tony, I read your blog this week and see, I'm from the Tennessee side. You have a lot of good things to say about Coach Martin. Just yeah. talk about getting to know him and then getting back in there a little bit. Well, at first I was like, this guy from uh, Missouri State, you know, I don't want nothing to do with him, but then I ended up picking him up the phone one day, and uh, he's a real, real cool guy. You know, he understands me definitely since he was, he played in the NBA for a while, so, I mean, he just understood everything, and the conversation flew really well. Now, where did the idea to go to Oak Hill come from? Um, first of all, I've been, I've been like, Oak Hill since I was like 10, 9, 8, you know, back then when Melo was, Man, you know, that's somebody I really admire, and I, uh, I love watching him play, so and when he called me, I was like, I couldn't turn it down. As far as UConn, where, where does UConn fit into your list? Well, I mean, they're the, they're the national the champions, champions, so, you know, you, I mean, I want to go to a winning team, so, I mean, anytime national championship team call you, yeah. you got to take it. You gotta take them serious. Have you visited any of those schools, or do you have any no. visits planned? Or? I don't have any visits planned. I, uh, I plan to uh, start this fall, this yeah, summer. Start when, uh, I summer. Need oh, boys. I need the game ball. Uh, <laughs> oh. What does Kentucky tell you about how you would fit in to what Coach Cal does? How, how do you see yourself? I, mean, I really, I really haven't talked to him about all that. You know. I, mean, I just had a few conversations with him, but as far as just talking to him, like in depth, I haven't had many conversations about that. When you watch them play, do you, do you see a style that fits the way you play? Or? I like the way Terrence Jones plays. I, I, like, I admire his game a lot. Is that what your game is about? Do you see yourself versatile inside? Yeah, inside, outside, being able to guard multiple positions, just being a beast around the whole course.